Hey there, Joseph R. Along the Sumo Size Ginger coming at you today. And today I want to talk to you about some new weight loss drug. Be sure to hit the subscription button below if you'd like to see more content like this. And leave me a comment if you've used drugs to help you lose weight. So in June of this year, the FDA approved semiglitude in order to be used for weight loss. This is a diabetic medication that goes under another name called Wegovy. I wanted to take the time today to talk to you about some of the pros and the cons of this old drug with a new use. Semiglitude is used for diabetes in order to control your insulin levels. It's a once a week injection that you take to help you to basically manage your blood sugar levels. One of the side effects they found is that it affects your hunger levels. And that's where the weight loss aspect of this comes in. The people that take this for weight loss are saying that they don't feel hungry. Whatever hunger pangs they felt before, whatever drove them to eat, it is now gone like a light switch off in their head. This has led people to lose upwards of 10 to 20% of their body weight in just six months. And if you're 300 pounds, that means you're losing 30 to 60 pounds in six months, which is pretty dang good. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some negative aspects to this. The first one is its price. It's almost $1,000 a month for these injections, especially as no insurance provider covers it as a weight loss drug at this time. You may be able to get it covered for symptoms of diabetes, but not for weight loss. So you're gonna be paying out of pocket for it. And at $1,000 a month, you're talking $12,000 a year. Another negative is the side effects. You can have nausea, you can have headaches, it can cause GERD. There are a lot of side effects related to this that just don't seem to make it worth it. It can cause either diarrhea or constipation. It can cause you to vomit, fatigue, dizziness, abdominal distension, and of course, indigestion. That's a lot of side effects from this. Having said that, most of our Western medication does have a lot of side effects, and this one doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it's not like it causes rectal bleeding. And the number one con, and the reason why I probably won't try this until it's something that's covered by my insurance, is because if you stop taking it, all that weight comes back. They did release it for a short clinical trial to be used for weight loss, and one lady lost almost 200 pounds. She took it for a long time. However, there's dangers associated with this drug, so you can only take it for a certain amount of time before you have to be taken off of it. And once she was removed, she gained all of that weight back. She said the problems she had with her hunger was back, and if anything, it was intensified. I really believe that's because she's not working on all three aspects. She wasn't working on her mind, she wasn't working on her physical, and she was not working on her diet. She was trying to use a shortcut, and honestly, I don't blame her. I'm the guy who grew up my whole life thinking, I'll just take a diet pill when I get older. So you have to weigh whether or not the pros and the cons outweigh each other before you decide to take this product. For me, as of right now, no, they do not outweigh each other. The cons are way worse than the positives especially when I can do something like I have been with my dieting and maintain that same pace of weight loss and still enjoy the foods I want. Although if somebody wants to pay for it for me, I'll give it a try and let you know what I think about it. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'd love to hear if any of you have tried different weight loss drugs. And if you have, I'd love to hear if you had any success with it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscription button below. I look forward to talking to you guys again and I hope you have a great day. Later.